Sahib Sams, good morning to all of you. Let me at the outset today express my thanks for your kind response. Please keep it up. Today I would like to speak about aptitude, which means like, taste, interest, curiosity. Of course, all are synonyms, but they are used in different contexts. And why I wanted to talk about aptitude means this is the most important trait that one should learn to gain knowledge. You know, we discuss the aspect of learning English. For that, you require aptitude. Let me give you some examples. As if Newton, you know, he invented law of gravitation. How he could do so? Apples may fall on everybody, but all cannot think like that. Why he has taken such long years to come out with a principle? It is because of his attitude. In the same way, Oliver Edison strained nearly many long years to come out with his electric bulb. Like that, one must have attitude to learn anything. Of course, you may say English is a foreign language. It is very tough. No, it may not be. If you have that attitude, you can acquire any knowledge. Aptitude means almost one way internal motivation because all the time you cannot expect external motivation. You badly require internal motivation. Why it is my concern because in rural and semi-urban most of the learners are very much afraid of learning English language feeling that it is very very complicated even to understand and speak. But no, my dear friends, anyone can learn it and anyone can speak. Why I am laying more stress on this general aspect? Because before touching upon real communication skills, I want to tell you the basic traits. If you are able to understand the basic traits, traits you can acquire the knowledge and especially language. It is a dynamic. I mean to say that English always changes after globalization. You can see very clearly American influence on English language is more and British style is slowly getting relegated. So that is why all of you must be, must be in tune with present day development and how to develop this attitude. For this purpose, you can watch English films and then speeches of great personalities so that you can understand the pronunciation at the same time tonality. The most important part in English is tonality. So that is why I would like to focus on the subject attitude. So everyone should have this attitude to get command over the language. So this is the topic for today and uh, I shall meet you later. Goodbye. See you again.